there's a chance that the Obama doctrine is a doctrine of no doctrine, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which is a way of saying that you know it's 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 a take it as it comes kind of doctrine. I would say that there are there are two or three salient points that you can make. Uh, one one part of the doctrine, obviously. Um, is that, and this is the tragic realist part, yeah. is, that, is that America has the ability to make things better. It can also, through its actions, make things worse. And that's where the don't do stupid stuff thing comes in. Right. Um, when you're looking at geography, I'll, I'll, give, I'll break it down by five regions of sure, the world, because sure. it's, it's easier to understand this, this way. Um, the Obama doctrine is Asia is the future, and therefore all of our attention should be focused on Asia. It's where, where our economy, you know, he came into office in 2009 with a broken economy, and he looked around the world and he said, Asia is where we could sell a lot of stuff. So we got to focus on Asia. He's a child of the Pacific anyway. He's right. not, he has no romance about Europe, no romance about the Atlantic, cross Atlantic relationship. He's a guy, he's, he's Pacific oriented. So Asia is the future, and we need to spend much more time on that. And there are challenges there too. The rise of China is a much more serious problem to him than the rise of ISIS. But you perceive that to be all things in legitimate. That's as a, a completely as a, as a, as a it, principle. You know, I, I say, and you know, and, and they were clever. They brought me on their last trip to Asia. And you know, yeah. when you realize, just to, as an example, that all of the Gulf countries combined, you add the populations of all the Persian Gulf countries, um, they're half the population of Vietnam, which is a relatively small Asian country. In the in the realm of right, in the Asian countries, Vietnam yeah, right. is bigger than Germany, right? So, like, if you're looking at raw numbers and raw economic potential, Asia right. is the place. So, uh, Latin America and Africa, places that we should pay more attention to, but don't. Um, Europe, a place that we have to manage, very important for world stability, but no romance associated with it and no huge up, you know, opportunities. In the Middle East, he's come to, and this has been, there's been an arc of disillusionment on this question. He started off being hopeful about his ability to change it. Right. The Middle East, something to be avoided at all costs. And so, so that's, that's an aspect of, of the doctrine. On the Middle East specifically, two more quick points. On the Middle East specifically, he's come to the conclusion that America can't fix the Middle East, which is a very, I use this word advisedly, but un-American view. You know, every president comes in thinking, I could fix X, I could fix Y, I could fix right. Z. He's, he said, this is generational, this is, this is problems of tribalism and fundamentalism, no American president can actually fix this. So you can't fix it. And the second conclusion, and you could see this as possibly a rationalization for the first conclusion, is that it's not that important anymore anyway. Anyway, right. anyway because we're growing energy independent.